So I wasn't gonna go out today, uh, but it looks like it's gonna rain all weekend and I just wanted to get out of the house before I felt stuck. So today I'm just gonna bop around Penmar. Oh, got bull horns. Those are freaking rad. They're huge. $30 too, that's a really fair price. If I wasn't trying to downsize, I would probably scoop these up. I feel like they'd look uh, great on a mirror. Honestly, even on the front grill of a, my Volkswagen. Ah, oh my gosh, I love this guy. He's definitely harder to find. The rubber is hardened on him. $25 is definitely too steep for me to do anything with it. Oh, man. I always see these and they're all chewed up and the paint's missing. That's a shame. Put that back there. What about this blue vase up here? Um, that's a no. There's something off about it too. 40 bucks, that's a little wild. Oh, but look at these funny uh, pilgrim dolls. <laughs> what is happening here? Oh my gosh. Wait, it's only $50? How is that? Dude. Oh man, I don't know what to do about this. I feel obligated as a taxidermy enthusiast to pick this up. Um, what I would do with it, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Definitely not every day you see a dead porcupine. All right, so with this giant piece of wood, it's definitely too big and too heavy to ship, but I'm wondering how attached he is. And yes, in case you're wondering, it is very sharp. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna leave this giant piece of wood here because I don't feel like dealing with that. And uh, yeah, I just bought a dead porcupine. How about that? So technically taxidermy is kind of a gray area. You're not really supposed to sell it. Um, however, they do let you sell porcupines on eBay. Now, one's in really, really good condition. Usually sell for like 350, 400. So the fact that I just paid $50 for that leaves a lot of room for a quick flip. Um, I don't think I will get that much for it. It did have a little bit of damage on the nose. However, I mean, who doesn't want a good deal on a porcupine? These are fun salt and pepper shakers. $10, it's definitely a little bit more than I'd like to spend. Um, I would probably sell these for like $14.50. So it doesn't leave a lot of room after fees and packing. They're kind of different though. Oh wow, these little shiny bright angels are still in their original packaging. $8. You know, I've had a few that have been sitting online for quite some time, but the fact that this one's six, what's wrong with it? Little tree toppers. I mean, the fact that they're in their original packaging is really uh, appealing to me, especially with Christmas being right around the corner. Hmm. Not usually a big fan of brown, but I love this chocolate, chocolatey color of slack glass. It's really pretty. Heavy thing. 18 bucks. It's uh, probably about what I'd get for that after fees. Ooh, and it's marked. We like that. I have to know what this is. <laughs> um, there's something kind of spectacular about that. Very strange, very strange, love it. <laughs> okay, but also relevant is whatever is happening here. <laughs> Man, I never find anything in this booth. It's a little tulip. It's 50% off, so it's $20. I think I am actually gonna look this up. It's in really good condition. Don't normally see them like that, especially with the lids. Normally the paint's all chewed up. Not the most familiar with this pattern of Fire King. 
So I'm going to go ahead and think about this one because it kind of seems like one of those things where the prices all are, are all over the place. And I mean, it's really desirable, but it's also not the most uncommon thing. So I'm going to finish my lap around and see how I feel about that on, uh, on the end of my route. That print is so cute. It's got a little bit of damage. Uh, it's one of those ones that's made to look like a painting. Love her little masquerade mac mask. I don't think it's worth uh, going up there and investigating though. I'm kind of into the little retro butterfly salt and pepper shakers. Kind of luster wear. They're I feel like, is it supposed to be off color like that? Six bucks. It's not a bad price. I feel like they probably sell, but they do have a little bit of staining and it's, it's honestly kind of hard to clean this material. I have these in my shop. I think they're so fun. I'm actually pretty surprised by how long I've had them. How much do they want for them? Five bucks, yeah, that makes sense. That's super cheap. Really reminds me of uh, old school McDonald's. What is happening here? Oh, it's new from uh, afar. It's not very bright in this corner. I thought it was maybe old from like a doctor's office or something. I was way off on that one. Little jewelry box. That's not what I thought it was. Never mind. Man, striking out over here. Oh, I see slot machines. 10 bucks. I think these uh, were here last time just in a different booth. It's a little too much for me. What is happening over here? <laughs> um, wow, that's amazing. Gold Digger Kate. It's really funny. Definitely not trying to ship that though. Looks like a shipping nightmare. Okay, what's happening here? So this one's a Campbell's Kid Petite doll. Uh, $30 and 25% off. These usually sell for about $35 on eBay in good condition. Um, it's got a little damage and of course it's missing the shoe. Since it's more common, I am going to put that one to the side. And then this one, the composition is breaking off. It's leg split. Uh, I believe it's unmarked. Let's see. Yeah, so not going to pick that one up. This one is plastic. It looks like a walker doll for sure. Yeah, it doesn't walk. It doesn't talk. It really doesn't do anything. Um, it's got a bunch of gnarly feathers on it. It's a little bit ex overly ecstatic when I walked up. Now I'm a little under enthused. 35. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. This one though, um, this one is unmarked. It's got a really unique expression. This one's only $20 and 25% off. I'm gonna keep looking around this booth, uh, maybe do a little bit more investigation. It's pretty ratty though, which I'm not a big fan of. And the dress on the backside has been pretty torn. Normally, maybe like a year ago, I probably would have jumped on this for Halloween, but I kind of feel like uh, the doll thing has been dying down a little, so. Now that I think about it, I think I'm just gonna leave it here. This booth definitely does have some really unique things. Uh, really fair prices too. I'm really into this painting. Mm, I'm not really seeing anything else that's my style, but definitely appreciate it. And I did decide to go ahead and leave this behind since it is more common. Uh, if it was a, maybe like a little bit less, and being a total cheapskate, I would probably pick it up. But $20, even though I could make a few bucks on it, I'm going to spend a lot to pack this. And honestly, uh, I've had some polka, uh, polka dot fire king bowls in my shop for a while, just kind of sitting. So I'm going to let that one go. I was uh, distracted by this memory jar. I know I looked at it before. It was in a case in a different booth before. But then I saw this old ice cream sign. That is absolutely phenom phenomenal and 325 is like beyond fair super old very cool all right well got my porcupine now i'm gonna go put them on 
eBay. Now, a lot of people, whenever I drop the word eBay, they're like, I thought you sold on Etsy. I do, however, Etsy does not do UPS. It only does USPS. Man, this thing is so weird. Um, yeah, so I kind of feel like eBay is a good place for him. Uh, there's already people looking for stuff like that on eBay and there's no like Macari you can't sell any taxidermy anything they will flag your account and they will shut you down don't do it but um Etsy you can but yeah he's huge <laughs>